Becky, welcome back. Hey, guys. Hey. Brought these back for you from Australia. Oh, thanks. Oh, thank you. You know, it's yesterday there in Australia. I learned that on the plane back from Sydney, so I'm going to try to call myself at the hotel and catch myself before I leave. <laughs> Actually, Jackie wouldn't uh, be yesterday. Oh. It would be. Hi, this is Jackie Thomas. Can I speak to Jackie Thomas? <laughs> I think I'm down by the pool. Yeah, don't page me. <laughs> yeah, just tell me I called. All righty. <laughs> Wait a minute. I didn't get a message I called yesterday. <laughs> is this why you wanted to see us? No, you know, I was thinking we should cast a new next-door neighbor, you know, with Charlie Dine and all. I think it should be a stewardess, and I think I got the perfect woman for her right there. Come on, Jack, you want to hire your latest conquest? <laughs> no, Laura. See, I slept with her, and then I promised her a job on the show. <laughs> Jackie, if you recall, the show takes place in a small town in Iowa. There isn't an airport for, like, 100 miles. Well, you're the writer, Jerry. Fix it, all right? And don't put the runway too close to my house. I don't want my property value going down. Uh, Jackie, I was thinking maybe we could uh, have a neighbor that's a single older man. That way your character could have a father figure. <laughs> Laura, we're casting a TV show here. Keep your sexual fantasies out of it, all right? <laughs> hey, guys, come here. Look at this, come on. How you doing, Jackie? Talk about a sight for sore eyes. It's my 62 Falcon. Well, nice to see you, too. <laughs> Guys, this here's a stand-up comedy buddy of mine, Joey Rafferty. Right, how yeah. you doing? Nice you. Hey, what's it been, three years? Last time I saw you, you were stealing jokes from me on the comedy circuit. Well, I don't have to steal jokes no more. I got writers to do it for me, like Jerry there. Yeah, we spent a lot of time in the dumpster behind Coach. So what brings you to LA, Joey? Well, I got tired of working the toilets in the Midwest. Thought I'd give the toilets out here a try. <laughs> Man, I love this car. Everything's the same. The same chrome, same interior, yeah. same air freshener. <laughs> you know, the first time I ever had sex was in this back seat. You mean first time with a non-pro? They were all pros, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> if this car meant so much to you, why did you sell it? He didn't. He lost it to me in a poker game. <laughs> Why, well, I, uh, I thought I had a flush. You know, all the cards are red and everything. Hey, listen, Joey, why don't, why don't you stick around for a while? Maybe take a tour of the studio and then come back. I'll buy you lunch. Okay. Hey, Jackie. Good seeing you. Good seeing you, too, buddy. <laughs> hey, stay away from Seinfeld. I think they're still mad. <laughs> that lousy bastard. He stole my car, and I'm going to get it back. <laughs> Mind if I borrow your salt? <laughs> and your pepper. <laughs> and, ooh, your ketchup. <laughs> All right, let's cut the crap. I'll give you 500 bucks for the Falcon. I'm really not interested in selling. The car's worth something. Used to belong to Jackie Thomas. <laughs> All right, I'll give you 1,000 bucks for it, but not a penny more. $8,000, come on! The car's not for sale. But I'll tell you what. I'll bet the car against 1000 bucks that the next person who walks by that window will be wearing a checkered hat. <laughs> Man, I'm not going to fall for that one. I'm not going to fall for that one at all, because I will bet you $1,000 that the next person who walks behind that door will be wearing a checkered hat. You're on! All right! <laughs> hey, 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 you without the checkered hat, you're fired. 
You gotta give me a chance to win my car back. Oh, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. You're trying to set me up for a poker game. I am. <laughs> okay, you wore me down. We'll do it. Ah. Uh, you fell into my trap. <laughs> I think. Guys, the network has solved the neighbor problem. Say hello to Gary Cole. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Gary. It's an interesting uh, twist on the father figure idea, Doug. Well, uh, thank you, Laura. <laughs> yeah, Jackie's going to love it. This guy's going to put our ratings right through the roof, just like he did different strokes. Don't you just want to pick him up and squeeze him? Tom, Tom, hands off. That's why I fired you the first time. Right. Sorry, Mr. Hi, 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 hi. Jackie. Oh, my God, it's Gary Coleman. How you doing? Good. What are you doing down here? I'm your new neighbor. Oh, man, you're going to love it out in Malibu. <laughs> hey, 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 do your catchphrase for me. Uh, what you talking about, Jackie? I'm talking about your catchphrase. Remember on the show? <laughs> What's going down, Willard? Remember? You do it better than I do, Jackie. Thanks. Hey, Jerry, I want you to write me a catchphrase tomorrow. Uh, I'll, I'll get right on it. That's not half bad, buddy. <laughs> not half bad at all. Hey, everyone, we got a big star here, Gary Coleman. Okay, so treat him with respect and everything. Go along. Just kidding, just kidding. Hey, don't worry, he won't steal nothing. It was the other guy on the show. <laughs> Jackie, actually, that... That was the girl. <laughs> no, the girl, she she got arrested for attempted murder. Uh, no, that was the guy. <laughs> That's weird. You know, all along, I thought you'd be the one that went bad. <laughs> Listen, I heard about the uh, money you got from your folks, and uh, I'm having a little poker game tonight. I'm wondering if you wanted to join in. Sure, why not? Jerry, you live closest to the studio. We'll have it at your house. You come and bring Bobby and Grant. Oh, this is great. I love poker. I haven't played it in years. <laughs> A girl in a poker game. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen the day they shoot monkeys into space. <laughs> so anyway, show up at 8, and uh, Doug, you come too. Um, I, I can't, Jackie. I have a little bit of a gambling problem. Oh, that's great, man. We need someone to get those pots up. See you later. I'll open for a quarter. Call. 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 I'll call that quarter and raise you two thousand dollars. Okay, what do you guys got? Three fours. Ha! Read them and weep. Two royal couples, a king and a queen, and a king and a queen. Uh, Jackie, Jackie, I, I think that three of a kind beats two couples. Well, it is hard keeping up with all the changes they're making in the game. I hear you, buddy. Listen, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to go in the can. Deal me out. Uh, Jackie, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So let's, let's talk a little poker strategy. You know, it's, it's all right to fold once in a while, especially if you don't have anything. Oh, great thinking, Jerry. Then I fold and they know I don't have nothing. <laughs> I'm down 200 bucks. That's half a day's work. Half a day? Hey, Jerry, is Grant making more money than I am? <laughs> you know, it is a sad day when hard work and ability triumph over cronyism. <laughs> I'm up ten bucks. That used to be a day's pay. Black when my parents are stealing all my damn money! <laughs> Gary, you, you won the lawsuit, man. Just let it, let it go. Let it go. I'm up about $50. How you doing there, Joey? So-so. Yeah. Must be up $19, $20,000. So, uh, <clears throat> who's the big loser? <laughs> hey, Doug, you want to uh, call it quits? No. No, I say we double the stakes. Hey, Jerry, pretty stupid putting carpeting in the bathroom. <laughs> You're just begging for trouble, buddy. LaToya.
Okay. One each card. Uh, two. One. What are you doing? Five. Shh. There we go. Okay. I'll uh, bet uh, three thousand dollars. I don't believe it. First good hand, and nobody's gonna play with me. <laughs> Cheats and none of you guys do nothing about it. Who cares? He's still losing. <laughs> you know what? Forget it. I'm out of here. Uh, Gary, Gary, I'm sorry about hey, Gary. Could I, uh, I borrow five thousand dollars? <laughs> no, I, I am good for it. Tell, but you already owe me twenty-five thousand dollars. Well, how about, how about I sell you one of my kidneys? I know you can use that. <laughs> Jackie. All right, Joey, let's cut the crap, okay? One hand, you against me, my car against your car. The Falcon against the Jaguar? That's right. You're on! You are too! All right, wait a minute, Jackie. Jackie, are you... Jackie, Jackie, are you sure about this? The Jaguar's worth at least 60 grand. That's right, buddy, but I've been losing all night. The odds are in my favor now. <laughs> I'll take two. And I will take none. Uh, wait, Jackie, you don't have anything. I know, I'm bluffing. <laughs> but there's no betting. Okay, I'll take five. <laughs> ha! A pair of aces! Nothing beats a pair of aces! Except three twos. Damn, he got the only hand that could beat me in the whole world! You... Grant. You got chocolate in my peanut butter. Oh, you got peanut butter all over my chocolate. <laughs> Idiot! Oh, my God. Doug, what happened? You were in a fight or something? No. No, I just got in a little trouble down at the shelter this morning. Some, some guy kept trying to take my blanket. Doug, <laughs> you're staying at a shelter? Yeah, yeah. When my wife found out how much money I'd lost, she she threw me out. Shelter's not so, so bad, though. <laughs> it's right on the bus line, and uh, I like a hard cot, and you know, the guy I'm sharing a towel with doesn't wash. So, there you go. Hey, guys. Hey, meet the newest member of our cast, Wendy. She's gonna play one of the next-door neighbors. Hi. Hi, Wendy. Hi. Hey, sweet cakes. Okay, Lumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Another stewardess? Why don't we just make the place a sorority? That's a great idea, Jerry. Jackie, how can there be a sorority in a town where there's no college? We'll put it right by the new airport. <laughs> and make it a party school. Uh, Jackie, you know, we have this policy, you know, of surrounding you with good actors. Yeah. Hey, them girls are every bit as good actors as I am. Maybe even better. Yeah, well, that's no, sort of the, uh, the problem. problem. <laughs> hey, Jackie. I hope you don't mind, but my Jaguar's in your parking spot. I noticed it was open. Hey, Wendy, come here. Listen, why don't you go get yourself a stewardess outfit, you know? And remember, no underwear. Okay, Jackie. Okay. Hey. Get out of my spot. I also wanted to return your handicap sticker. Thanks. I had to wait in line four hours in a wheelchair to get this thing. I also wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye? Where are you going? Back on the comedy circuit. I kind of miss the sound of drunk, smelly redneck screaming at me, Hey! You suck! If you want someone to tell you you suck, I can do it. You suck! Uh, Jackie, it's not the same. See ya. Hey, hold it, buddy. Listen, why don't, why don't we play one more poker game, you know, for old time's sake? Okay. You're on. Jackie, don't, Jackie, don't even think about playing poker at my house again. I'm not, man. Your bathroom smells like a subway. <laughs> I'm playing in my dressing room. I'm gonna get that Falcon back. Jackie, for, would you forget about it? It's not gonna happen. Your, your buddy is a, is a card hustler. You, you, you've already lost $80,000. That's all part of my plan, man. Can you believe he actually took the money? <laughs> what an idiot! Come on, Jackie, you have to cancel this game tonight. Admit it, you don't know anything about playing poker. Yes, I do, Laura. I've been reading this all night, and it says here that a royal flush will beat anything. So all I gotta do is get one of them, bet big, 
I'm surprised nobody ever thought of this. <laughs> Jackie, you're only gonna get a hand like that, like maybe once every 40 years. Oh, so it's a waiting game, huh? <laughs> well, I'm 34 now, so I got about nine years to wait. <laughs> I figured how to cheat real good. What I do is I write in the back of my hand what beats what, and then when the other people are guessing, I'll know. It's just that there's more to poker than that, Jackie. You know, you have to know the odds, you have to know which uh, cards to hold, when to bluff, when the other guy is bluffing. You sure know a lot about poker for a girl. Well, I won a couple tournaments in college. You went to college? <laughs> I'm impressed, Laura. Maybe you could be my ringer at the game and win back my Falcon. No, I, I couldn't do that, Jackie. How about this? You either do it or you're fired. You're bluffing. Damn, you are good, aren't you? <laughs> you gotta help me, Laura. Seriously. Come on, Jackie. What happened? Did they launch a monkey into space today? <laughs> Listen, I'll give you anything you want, all right? Hey, hey, my hippo's about ready to drop a kid. It could be yours. <laughs> My building won't let me have pets over 500 pounds. Well, what do you want? I just want to be able to do my job. I want to cast the role of the neighbor. Well, that's great. You can cast the rest of the sorority house, because you tell you the truth, I'm not getting no sleep. <laughs> no, Jackie, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the father figure. The father figure that we talked about. Now, come on. It's either that or it's no deal. Now you're bluffing. <laughs> Damn, we got a deal. All right. Be here at eight, okay? Okay. Hey, listen, send a limo out to the airport to pick me up. I'll be getting back from Australia this afternoon. <laughs> I'll call your five and raise you three thousand dollars. All right. I'll meet that and I'll bump you another two. Okay. Oh, oh, it's an old war injury. Oh, oh I didn't know I got a plate in my stomach. Oh. Hey, if you're not feeling well, we can cancel the game. No, don't cancel in the name of God, no. Oh, oh, I'll tell you. Oh, maybe I should get someone to sit in for me. Oh, oh, but who, you ask? Oh, I don't know. Oh, what about Laura? Jackie Laura's never played before. Oh, she's got to learn sometime. Oh. Why not? Just sit down. Okay, I'm in for uh, five thousand. Gee, this is a lot of fun. I haven't played a hand in four hours. <laughs> I'll raise you ten thousand dollars. Ten. Okay. Uh, um, I guess I could put off my daughter Previa needs eye surgery, but that can wait until college. <laughs> that way I don't have to worry about guys hitting on her. <laughs> Doug, you're a sick man. Just, no, I was just, full. Just full. I'll see that and raise you 20000 Well, since this is my lucky day, I'll see that and I'll raise you thirty. Lord, did you hear that? Today's his lucky day. <laughs> That okay, I'm gonna see that and I'm gonna raise you 40,000. Oh, Laura, there's 200 grand out there. That's a lot of money even for me. Jackie, please, I told you, poker face, poker face. <laughs> this easy for you, Jackie. We'll call off the hand and split the pot. You can take back your money, and I'll take back Doug's. I'm in. <laughs> and I'll throw the falcon in. All you gotta do is give me the neighbor role on the show. Oh, forget it, forget it. 
Time out. We gotta huddle. Come on. Jackie, now you come on. You told me that I could cast that role. And this is my last chance to get the Falcon back. Jackie, is that car worth $100,000 to you? Yes, it is. That car belonged to my Uncle Billy. And when he went to Vietnam, he left it in my care. And every week I washed it and I waxed it because I love my Uncle Billy, you know? And then when we got the news that he wasn't coming back, I mean, that car's all I got to remember him by. Hey, what's it gonna be? Please, Laura, please, seriously. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, Joe, you got a deal. You're the neighbor on the show now. <laughs> but I gotta ask you one question. Would you have beaten, uh, what do you call that? <laughs> that is a uh, full house, kings over eight. Yeah. Uh, you know how it works, Jackie. You gotta pay to see the card. <laughs> Threes, Laura. We won. Thank you very much. Oh, we won. Oh, Jackie, you called off the hand. Why would I do that? Jackie, you wanted to get your car back. Remember the story about your uncle dying? My uncle didn't die. He just didn't come back. He opened up a whorehouse in Bangkok. He's a millionaire now. Well, Jackie, listen, hey, at least you got the Falcon back, right? I did win the Falcon back, didn't I? Mm -hmm. That's pretty damn lucky. I'm on a hot streak. Who wants to go to Vegas with me? I'm in. We'll drive the Falcon, man. <laughs> you guys pitch in for gas. Let's go. Uh, it's okay. All right, come on. Let me let me take you home, Doug. Let me take you home. Come on. Come on. Baby steps. Baby steps. Baby steps. Baby steps. <laughs> Stay tuned. If I gotta come back, you gotta come back. Paris. What, what do you got, neighbors? I got a full house. <laughs> yeah. Kings over knives! All right. <laughs> I don't believe it, Jackie. You win again. What's your secret? Well, you gotta know when to hold them and when to fold them. And you always gotta carry a few aces up your sleeve. <laughs> Me, or do we have one too many neighbors? No, come on now. I got my guy in there, and I think he adds a certain dignity to the show. Let's try to get him a line next week, huh? Hmm. Well, good news. Now, the network is extremely pleased with the new neighbors. I think we all deserve a pat on the back. Hmm. For putting this on the air, Doug, we should be lined up and shot. Oh, no, contraire, my bearded friend. This is spinning off to the most highly touted new show of the fall season. Different folks. <laughs> By the way, focus at my place this week. Uh, same shelter? <laughs> yeah, bring along some canned goods. <laughs> hey, mate. How come nobody picked me up at the airport? 